The president just under a month ago was in Jeddah, and I want to bring you a little bit of what he said. He said he is, quote, doing all I can to increase the supply for the United States of America, which I expect to happen. The Saudis share the urgency, and based on our discussions today, I expect we'll see further steps in the coming weeks. Well, these are the coming weeks, 100,000 barrels a day, you know, basically a rounding error for OPEC. Is that the urgency the president was hoping for? So it's great to be here, Anne-Marie. I would say let's take a step back. What is the president's focus? What is his goal here? His goal is relieving the pressures that American families face uh, at the pump and with energy prices broadly. And, you know, if we look cumulatively over the past series of weeks, that's exactly where we've seen progress. You know, seven weeks ago, uh, really on the eve of when the president's travel was announced, uh, crude was $120 a barrel. Today, uh, it's at 95. Uh, just a handful of weeks ago, uh, the gasoline price on average was above $5 a gallon. Today, it's under four. And we're uh, now at, the, at, the, at a place where we've had 50 straight days uh, of declines in the national average gasoline price. Uh, when the president thinks about what his goals are, uh, those goals are reflected in uh, those results for American families. Do we have further to go? Of course we do, but we've really seen some encouraging steps, encouraging trends uh, in recent weeks, and those are things that, that he plans on building on. I understand the end number is what is so important for the White House, right? You guys are tweeting a lot about this. What is the gas ticker price? And right now, a lot of gas stations under $4 a, a gallon. But the data we have today is that Americans are actually driving less than they were during the summer of 2020 when we were all locked up in our homes. Would you characterize this environment as demand destruction? Not at all. I think if you look at the, the data overall, what you see is uh, Americans on the move uh, and Americans on the move uh, in a way that, you know, we haven't uh, seen in, in some time, whether it's uh, taking vacations by air, taking vacations uh, in the car, uh, being out in the summer months. Uh, that's that's what we're seeing uh, and we're in, encouraged by those trends. The other big issue, of course, is China at the moment is almost helping you out in terms of demand because they are suffering from some demand destruction given that they have this COVID zero policy. What is the plan for when China is, quote unquote, back to normal? So I would say the president has just been very focused on having uh, a comprehensive uh, approach on global energy supplies, and that is uh, something we're going to continue to be focused on here, uh, whether that's uh, steps like the historic release from our own strategic petroleum reserve, uh, whether that's been uh, steps rallying uh, allies and partners behind uh, similar releases, whether that's been uh, focusing on steps that we can take uh, to uh, enhance and incentivize uh, domestic producers, or whether that's uh, ongoing and intensive conversations uh, with producers around the world to, for them to take the steps they can to uh, increase supply. You know, this is a comprehensive effort to uh, increase uh, global energy supplies, increase uh, global oil supplies, and that, you know, regardless of the picture more broadly in the economy is what's going to do the most uh, to uh, ease the burdens on American families.